otters spend a large amount of time in the water, yet they still have fur. To ensure that they stay dry they must spend a significant portion of the day grooming themselves, coating their fur in saliva. This process actually makes the outer layer waterproof. This is possible because their fur is so dense, with around a million hairs per inch too. Otters can be found in unpolluted waters all over the world in marshland, freshwater rivers, lakes, oceans and coastlines. There are 13 known species of otters, which range in size from 2.9 feet, 90 centimeters, all the way to 5.9 feet, 1.8 meters, long. Most species of otters actually spend their time on the banks of rivers and other bodies of water when they're not hunting. Sea otters though, are the complete opposite. They may sometimes come to shore, but they spend the majority of time in the water, hanging around kelp forests. Otters are known to be pretty incredible hunters, living off a diet of mostly seafood. While river otters mostly live off fish, crayfish and crabs, sea otters have a more interesting method of sustaining themselves. Sea otters are known for their remarkable ability to use rocks to smash open shellfish to fill their stomachs. In a bizarre turn away from their normal diet, there are some otters in the Shetland Islands in Scotland which have been known to hunt rabbits instead of fish. Let's hope they don't develop a taste for people. Otter poop has such a unique smell that it has even ended up with its own name, Sprain. Some say it's the least offensive smelling poo of the animal kingdom, while others say it's the absolute worst. Scientists say that its smell is like that of violets. Otters are usually found in small family groups with the mother and her young offspring. During mating season, or when there's an abundance of food you'll find much larger groups of otters. No matter the size of the group though, you'll always find them playing around, wrestling, chasing their tails and having an utterly great time. Otters are born with their eyes closed, and as soon as they open they have a lot to learn like swimming and hunting. The father is usually chased away soon after a litter is born though, and the mother takes care of them until they're about a year old. Historically otters have been used by humans to aid in the process of fishing all over the world. Nowadays this technique is still practiced in Bangladesh, where trained otters are used to chase fish into fishing nets. Otters, like humans, are mammals. This means that we do not have the ability to breathe underwater. You'd think this would pose a problem for a species which spends the majority of its time either in water, or hunting in water, but apparently not. Sea otters can hold their breather 